Guys, I think this might be the final episode of our summoning adventure. And what an amazing adventure it's actually been. It's hard to believe that this adventure began almost three months ago. And between 30,000 and 50,000 people showed up here every single day to join me on this journey. And I think that that in itself is mind-blowing. So let's have a little look through the world one final time before we say goodbye to it. If you can remember those early days, this is the first house that we set up and the code name for this let's play is actually Winter. I never said that before, but every episode, the raw file is called the Winter Let's Play because we started it here in the snow biome. I remember this area in particular because this is where little Chip really struggled to kill any wolf from enemy so that we can make the next summoning weapon. That always stuck with me. There's so much to this world though. Like let's let's flip through. We have this area over here where we expanded to, you know, to make a bigger village to get more NPCs. We obviously have the green land. We've got the desert, which is now corrupt. The famous pyramid that didn't have a torch for like five episodes. <laughs> and then a new addition, the jungle, which looked completely different not too long ago. Look at this world. Look at this. In this world, I've still never opened the temple. <laughs> For real, I haven't. The, the, the door is, is remained dormant. It's over here somewhere. It will never be opened. We did Plantera here. Look at all of this. Crabulon. Remember Crabulon? We fought Crabulon over here. The dungeon. Poltergast. And all this. It, it's crazy. It's crazy. But nostalgia aside, let's crack on with the episode. So what do we need to do in the final episode? Well, and this is the same for every Calamity series. The series ends when you destroy Supreme Calamitous. But to do that, people wanted to see an old favorite return. And I want to see it return too. You know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about the Duracell Death Laser. That's right. It's making a comeback. The Duracell Death Laser needs to take us... To post Supreme Calamitous. Look at how many batteries he's got. This poor, uncharged machine. Alright, 100%. Okay, alright, let's do this. Um, before we get into it, I think I should probably see if I can make one final upgrade. Now, I'm fairly certain that all of these are max level for what they are. We could swap them out for better accessories like the sponge or the community. Uh, but I'm going to try with what I've got. Alright, this is a material. Why is this a material? Oh, because it makes the rampart of the deities or the deities, whatever it's called. I have no idea. Um, so what do we need? We need a frigid bulwark and a bunch of this stuff. All right, let's see if we can make a frigid bulwark. All right, here we go. Bam. Frigid bulwark. Um, let's see if we can actually uh, have a little craft of it. Let's see if we've got any of the other ingredients. So we've got the bars. We've got the divine geodes. We need the singularities. I might actually have to go and buy... Some of those? Yeah, I will. How many do we need? Five. All right, five's not too bad. Yeah, I, I, I spent all of them yesterday making auric bars. <laughs> but this is going to be fun. I'm really excited. Now, you may think, James, um, this is an episode with Supreme Calamitous. Why are you saying that this might be the final episode? I'm, I'm confident. And I think if you go into Supreme Calamitous with a lot of confidence, you'll come out on the other side with all your hair intact, all right? Because if a bad Supreme Calamitous, you're leaving Terraria bold. And I don't want to do that, all right? I'm working on the throw. <laughs> okay, right. Um, so let's bang these in here. Let's let's make the final upgrade. I'm excited. I'm excited. What an adventure it's been. Honestly, I can't believe it's coming to a close. It's, it's mind-blowing. It's been so fun. The crazy part about this is that this will probably be, or at least, and I hate to say it, I hope it is, this will be our final Calamity series in Terraria 1.3.5, because I'm now going to start playing other mods until we get T-Mod Loader 1.4. Now, if T-Mod Loader 1.4 takes two years or never comes out, of course I'm playing Calamity again. I love Calamity, and I want to check it out when it gets a big update again. But, um, but I think this is it. How crazy is that? Man, I can't wait for T-Mod Loader 1.4. I think, I think we're a long way off, for real. But knowing that Let's Plays take me a couple of months, you know, I'm... I'm not rushing for it. All right, Goblin Man, give me the give me the final reforge of the Let's Play. Bam, menacing. 
Okay, so here's what I've done. I've got a beacon set up, right? This is this is the Supreme Calamitous Arena. You don't really need a Supreme uh, the Supreme Calamitous Arena because it builds one for you. Um, but I guess we could build a bigger one. To be fair, I might actually do that at some point if this ends up being awful. Right. So buff up. Here are the summons we're going to be using. We're going to be using this, right? Then we're going to be using um, UFOs. Let's spawn in one Duracell Death Laser. So we have the one. All right, I didn't I didn't commit to seven of them, you know? I'll get one of these. And then I'm going to be constantly spawning in the UFOs. We're going to click Q so that our movement is slowed. And begin. Right, so. If you've never fought Supreme Calamitous before, let me introduce you to this nightmare of a boss. Because uh, it is actually really hard. And, um... <laughs> me kind of goofing on it is is only a joke. This probably will take me uh, a whole day. So the first thing we need to do is work on these little um, these little burrito balls at the top. I don't know why I call them burrito balls. That's never happened before. They don't even look like burritos. <laughs> there is nothing burrito about these. All right. So what you have to do is defeat those, and then you got to work on Supreme Calamitous. Now back in the day, let me tell you the tale. Let me tell you the horrible tale of Supreme Calamitous. Back in the day, how it used to work is that basically you could only get hit a certain number of times. I think it might have been 10, right, in death mode. So the fight was just awful. Nowadays, it's not too bad. Well, I actually really like it. That's the thing. It's weird because I, I like Supreme Calamitous now, but for years I hated it. So you go through a couple of these phases, right? Every time you get it down to a certain number of health. Oh, Christ. <laughs> it begins... Every time you, you have a couple of phases with it. I'll, I'll talk about the phases as we get to them. I don't know if I cancelled out my good summon then. It's kind of hard to tell. I think I might have done. Let me buff up. Let me get one of these. Let me get one of these. And let me get as many of these as possible. And we'll leave this be. All right. Q again. Because that slows our movement speed down. That actually helps me out a lot. All right. Let's, let's try this second attempt. Let's see if I can at least get it into the other phase. All right, we begin burrito balls. I don't know why I'm calling them burrito balls at all. <laughs> it makes no sense. So yeah, this this for me with other classes is always the worst bit. The burrito balls bother me so much, but I think because we have that little um, that little sunburst effect from our armor, they're not too bad actually. This will be the lowest defense that I've ever had while doing Supreme Calamitous. I'm pretty sure, which is kind of crazy. I mean, in all series, I'll always go menacing regardless. I'm not too bothered about defense, but this is, like, completely different. So the reason why uh, you would build an arena is because sometimes some of the little, like, sunburst effects that happen, sometimes they happen outside of the arena and they don't make it inside, which is always the best. All right, thankfully, James the Clothier is still alive. But it's great to end this journey joined by my friends, the Fungal Clump, the Duracell Death Laser, I tell you what, the Duracell Death Laser is actually really good at letting me see where the boss is. All right, so obviously we're not doing too good. We've got two health remaining. <laughs> but this is phase number one, or the end of phase number one. We're trying to give you all an idea of what this is all about, all right? Oh, okay. Yeah, the, things, the thing that's hard about this boss fight is not only are you dealing with charges and shots like this, you're also dealing with the fact that every now and again, you'll get a random circle... And the circles are the ones that you want to watch out for. They're the ones that are, like, the hardest to dodge. Because Terrarians don't like to move in circles. It's what I've learned. It's a game made of blocks. What do you expect? The damage output, I've got to say, is fantastic. The dodging game from me, really tragic. Uh, I'll just be real with you. So I've just got to get used to the fight again. Because that's, that's the main concern here. But we're doing alright. So we're about to come up to... So this is the second phase with the um, with the the cylinders. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, we got to get through this, and then we got the brothers. Now we want to see how our damage is against the brothers, because if you lot remember in the modded yo-yo series, the damage with the brothers really, really bad, like abysmal. Okay, so here's brother number one. All right, there's one on either side. If you don't know, I like it. I feel like I'm teaching you a little bit about this this tragic boss. <laughs> Alright, we'll try it again. I'll, I'll be quiet until the brothers this time, so I can focus. 
All right, so we're coming into the brothers. Ooh, okay, brothers phase once again. So, my biggest tip for this fight is... <laughs> that was really bad. But you have to get good at this phase. You know the phase with the flames? Where they're all raining down? Because that's basically free damage, all right? Well, it, it's weird. It's like, you need to just get good at that. Because if you can't beat that, you can't beat the rest of the fight, basically. It's just not worth the damage that you take during those phases. And I would say the biggest tip I had is to go slow and to relax. And that probably helped me out the most. Alright, let's just keep killing these brothers. Seems like we're working on one at a time. And for this, what I like to do during this fight, and I'm not even joking, is I don't even look at the boss. <laughs> I just try and look at what's around me. I move up and down. Just try and have a little go at what's around me. I mean, I'm not always great. I'm not, I'm not that good of a Terrari player in that sense. But this seems to work for me. And if it works for me, like, that's good. Right? That's all I have to worry about. All right. So next one now. So a good thing about this is that even though I was kind of clearly targeting one and only focusing on one, I've still done a lot of damage to the other one. Obviously, our health isn't amazing. But here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. It's going to take time. You, you don't win this fight straight away. <laughs> Not unless you're like Leviathan and you've actually done this fight more than you've ever actually played Terraria, if you know what I mean. It's in terms of hours. <laughs> so I'm probably going to die. But it's good to see that we're going to get some rage. Uh, so if I can stay alive long enough, I might be able to use rage to my advantage at some point. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Hard to tell. All right. So... We're coming into uh, this phase right here. So this is a different phase. Which I always forget about. <laughs> always forget that you randomly just... Or the fight just randomly does that. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Okay. So. There's our rage. Oh. Let's just be careful. Oh, Christ. Alright. Seems like our damage completely just... Um, I don't know. Do you, do you guys see that? Like, I don't know. Was it like... Did it just randomly get worse? <laughs> I think maybe I was... I, I don't know how this UFO thing works, right? Because I've been using the UFOs to my advantage a lot. Sometimes I can't tell if I'm overdoing them and cancelling out better summons. Do you know what I mean? Oh, so I forgot. I was going to actually make a new weapon that's kind of like a pseudo-upgrade to the Duracell Death Laser. Well, I don't believe it's like a direct upgrade, but it is another summoning weapon that uses batteries. And from what we've learned so far, the battery-powered weapons are actually fairly decent. So this one, I think, is called the Pole Warper. All right, that's <laughs> that looked like a weapon. It's a fishing pole. Forget about it. All right, it's this. Pole Warper. Magnetic devices which tear at foes by propelling themselves off of their opposite counterparts. Incredibly dangerous. So we don't have enough for it. We need... All right, so we've got enough dubious plating. We need some mysterious circuitry. Right, so I think we can probably get that from one of the big giant factories that we never actually checked out, which I think this one has some chests in it, I think. Right? Probably so. But where are they? I don't actually know. <laughs> I might actually be able to buy them. Let me go quickly look, and if I can't buy them, I'll, um, I'll go find some. All right, yeah, let's have a little look in here, see if we can find any chests. I think that might actually be a chest right there. Ah, there we go. All right, cool, cool. I knew this factory would pay off. What is this? Man, these look so good, by the way. Like, I don't know if I gave them quite enough love in this Let's Play. They're really cool. These are sea prisms. Ah, all right, sick. Yeah, these are really cool. Like, it's definitely, for me, one of the most iconic moments of the Let's Play was finding those and just being like, all right, this is all new. It's all very exciting. All right. The Pole Warper. Bam. Here we go. All right. Let's give it a bit of a reforge and then we'll get it charged up. All right. With a, a trusty handy Duracell. <laughs> I tell you what, if Duracell was to, to offer me a brand deal, I would take it. More. It, do you know what? The payment would have to be a lifetime supply of Duracells because I tell you what, their battery life sucks. And you'd need an infinite amount to get anything done. Alright, and I'm raging. I'm raging and I'll tell you why. Because when I was a kid, and I used to carry around a Game Boy with me, a real Game Boy, those things drank batteries, right, for breakfast. 
and no battery could keep up. And all I wanted was like the Tesla equivalent of a battery in that bad boy. So I'm still fuming about it all these years later. All right, let's get it charged up. This is so exciting. This is really exciting. I don't think it's going to make the fight any easier because at the end of the day, I'm going to lose the fight if I can't dodge well. Do you know what I mean? Christ, this one takes a while to charge, doesn't it? This, <laughs> this is like an actual Tesla. Oh my God. Hey, I want to talk about this real quick. I don't know if anybody cares about Tesla. Probably not. But have you seen the new interior for the Tesla Model S? It looks so good. It looks really good. They've got a, a yoke steering wheel. It's like half a steering wheel. The thing actually looks like a spaceship. It's incredible. It is incredible. <laughs> but I want them to play Terraria. Damn it. They now play Witcher 3. And apparently Cyberpunk. You can play Cyberpunk in a Tesla. But you can't play Terraria. What's up with that? I asked Relogic. I was like, yo, can we set this up? But apparently it all relies on Elon. Elon Musk, right? And I don't know. Reaching out to that man. I don't know if we've got the fuel to get to Mars. That's all I'm saying. Um, okay, so I think I put the beacons away. Yeah, I did. All right. So, bam. Let's get into this. Funny thing is, you lot have just seen me do the fight a couple of times. I do actually have to... Is this lingered around? No, okay, good. <laughs> so you lot have just seen me do it a few times. That was a couple of hours ago. I've not been doing the boss fight for a couple of hours, but I've just been hanging out with Court. So my, my new skill that I'm, I've just recently gained is already gone. Right, so one of these... And then, actually, no, wait, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Get this in. And then we'll see them. Oh, here we go. Here we go. They're little wormy boys. Now, can I keep spawning in UFOs? Oh. Oh, this might be the killer combination. All right. So, uh, I'm managing to, to get to the brother's phase again. It's quite nice. I'm enjoying that. Uh, I do think I'm probably going to be silent for the rest of the fight, though. Because this is... Oh, my God. I, I'm on the edge of my seat with this. All right. So, let's see what happens now. Uh, oh, it's the Mooney boys. Oh, forget about these. So, basically, you have this phase again. But then you also have four giant moons. <laughs> so, it gets really wacky really quickly. I'll probably lose this one. But at least we got to the Mooney boy phase. And this didn't take too long, which I enjoy. So yeah, for the rest of the fight, you you fight moons. <laughs> it's Majora's Mask, basically. Oh god. And then, if I remember right, we also have a dealing with the Orby boys, which always do my head in. Oh god. Hmm. Are my summons good enough for this phase? I actually don't know. Hmm. That might. Ch I tell you what. Do you know with that phase right there? That might actually require a, a shakeup where we move to the UFOs. I don't know if the UFOs are like the new meme where I'm just like, hey, UFOs? But the UFOs are at least piercing, whereas these magnet balls are not. Alright, so I'm using the uh, UFOs to my advantage, uh, hopefully. Oh, they're not really doing all that much damage. <laughs> I don't really know. I'm not really sure on my strat here. I'm just winging it. Oh my god, am I actually almost through? Oh, look at that, I am. Alright, cool. So I think we've got a few more phases left yet, but at least I know I can conquer that a little bit quicker. There's a lot going on on screen. Oh, I don't know about this. I don't know about this. I'm just winging it. I'm winging it. All right, let's see what happens. I'm going to see if I can talk over this. I know full well that if I lose on this one, and I, and I blame myself because I was chatting away, I'm going to keyboard flip, but... Hopefully not. Oh, ho, 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 no. The moons are so quick. All right. So we just got this left. I'm just getting started. You better not be. Oh, wow. Oh, God. Oh, God. Remember I said you got to get good at this phase? Yeah, it all kind of comes down to this phase now. Yeah, I've got no idea what's happening here. I don't know if this is viable. I don't know if this is possible. Are we actually going to do it? Are we actually going to do it? Oh, come on, Terraria. Let this be the one. <laughs> this fight drags. All right, please be it. 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 Oh, God, it's Mooney boys. It's Orby boys, sorry. Oh, God, this fight's going on forever. 
Oh my god. I think I spoke too soon when I said that I'm gonna speak. <laughs> I should have probably shut up a while ago. Alright, I'm just trying to zone out and use my smooth brain. Because I think it's my smooth brain that lets me win fights like this. It really is. It's that part of my brain that goes, alright, it's weird, but you can stay calm for a second. I swear to you, my eyes are not even looking at the boss fight. All I'm doing right now is just looking around. Right, oh no, no. I looked at my keyboard for a second to look at the, the B button. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I was really dumb. All right, this phase is lasting forever. I think I might have messed up my summons a little bit. I think I've, no, I think I've done something wrong here. I don't know what I've done. I think it's all the UFOs. I think the UFOs have absolutely tanked my damage. Yeah, get some rage in. Get some rage in. Ho, 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 ho. There we go. There we go. Wait. Where is it? Where's my Duracell death laser? I don't know if it's in the chest. <laughs> I think it might be. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Do you know what? Screw Supreme Calamitous. I'm over it. <laughs> There we go. There we go. At long last, I am free for a time. Blah, blah, blah. We don't care, Supreme Calamitous. You are dead. Oh my Christ, what an episode. What a banger of an episode. I tell you what, I I love Supreme Calamitous and I hate Supreme Calamitous, but when you beat it, it is a feeling. It is a feeling. Wow, look at this. Imagine if. All right, Calamitous. The Witch Unrivaled. Perhaps the only one amongst us... Uh, sorry. <laughs> my adrenaline. Perhaps the only one amongst my cohorts to have ever been given me the cause of doubt. Now that you've defeated her, your destiny is clear. Come now, face me. Oh my god. Favorite this item to die instantly from every hit. Shut up, Calamitous. Brimstone Jewel. The ultimate reward for defeating such a beast. Let's have a little look. Bam. Tiny Calamitous. Cute. Wow, what an episode. What an episode. What an episode. So yeah, um, like I said, all my Let's Plays always end with the final boss. It doesn't matter if it's vanilla or modded. So we can have a little look at what we could have made. Here's what you could have made. We could have made Shadow Spec and made some of these. But honestly, I'm not bothered. I, I, final boss, I'm done. All right, if there's nothing to use it on, I'm all right. And I'm not a very big fan of Boss Rush. I find it kind of boring. Well, there we go. Guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure to have uh, to have made these. And, I, and I'm grateful that you lot have joined me for so long. This was a lot of fun. What a let's play. Someone who was really cool in Calamity, just to give a quick review. Sometimes it was annoying because the AI sucked. None of us are going to deny that. But I think it made a big turnaround after the mech bosses. I think anything post-mech has been like top tier. I've really, really loved it. Right, I think that's going to do it. Shout out as always to our channel members rolling by on screen right now. Give the finale a big fat thumbs up and I will see you very shortly for a new Let's Play. All right. Peace.